early, early, early in the morning. Uh, yesterday, I did some work. I I prepared these recycled boards for some work. It was really funny because you know I get obsessed with stuff. And now I'm up to 50, it says 5,600, but it's really 5,700. Because I put 5,400 twice. Now some people will say, oh, well, you can go back and correct that. Why would I want to correct that? That's the best part of that piece. Oh. Uh. looking at my at my videos it's really kind of, kind of interesting because the only reason that I guess the only reason I make videos is just to have something to do because nobody watches my videos oh man nobody watches my videos let's see here this interesting light bulb there that's the light and there's a compass a light and the compass but nobody would care about that kind of thing really here's something else look at that let's see if it'll work I don't know if it's gonna work or not that worked or not. Let's see if it works here. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on the on the outside. So you don't know what's on the inside of that until you look inside. see inside that or not. What do I do with my coffee? I just stumble around and put things down and I never can find them again. Uh, it's funny in a very sad sort of way. I love cameras like a fat boy who loves chocolate cake. It's the Mijonju show. Oh. Oh. Just got out of bed yesterday. I laid down for a nap, you know. I slept for like three hours. After that's the most work I've done in a long time. I prepared all those pieces. I went out to my yard and, and collected a bunch of these interesting pieces that were used on the floor and cut them into these similar sizes they're not exact <laughs> they're not exact at all and then I prepared them and you can see how it how that piece sits on the wall I love cameras like a fat boy who loves chocolate cake So it's kind of interesting, you know. There was this guy who told me a long time ago, he's, he was telling me about about getting viewers, you know, that my videos are just about me. You know, and that's... Because I, I really wasn't thinking too much about anything. I just, I just do what I do. 
but like Michonju, you know, he concentrates on cameras and, and other people concentrate on how tos and all that kind of stuff. And it and, and that's kind of interesting. And it's and I don't know if I could actually ever do that. And I could if I had a if a special channel for that maybe. And it's not really depressing to me that I don't get a lot of views. Although I, I go to my computer and, and I say, oh, let's see if I got any comments. You know, you know let's see how many. Let's see. Let me give you some numbers here. Let's go to the statistics. Okay, for my latest videos, views 40, 54, 39. Fifty-five, fifty-seven. Some of these I put private, you know, but most of them are public. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight, <laughs> thirty-eight. Oh my God, forty-one, forty-eight, seventy-one. Oh, that's a biggie right there. <laughs> One eighty-five. The Mujonjo Mujonjo New School YouTuber. One hundred ninety-five views. Paragi Moon 340. I uh, uh, see. I remember one time it was this. Uh, this is in the old days of YouTube. It was this guy. He uh, he was a big YouTuber, but he was in some ways he was a dick man. Uh, and every once in a while he would he would he would uh, have these little battles going between himself and this other guy that I knew. And. Sometimes I think he went over the top. So I would make video I would make videos about him, but I would never use his name ever. You know. But he knew who it was. Cause I never call anybody out by their name. This one guy this one guy one time he uh He sent a bunch of stuff to me in a in a uh, one of those stickum rooms. I had gone to this this channel, and uh, and I you know I stayed there and you know people liked me and everything, but he was he was just really he was a very very odd person. He was under some kind of medication or something, but he was he was very he was a very vicious he could be a very vicious person. He could be very nice, you know, if he really liked somebody. But if he didn't like somebody, he could be really like, you know, catty, you know, like meow, meow, you know. And one day he must have been off his medication or something, so he he started getting really bitchy with me. You know, they eventually threw me out because he was like one of the organizers of that room. They didn't actually throw me out. They threw me out one time because. Uh, I went to that. I went to the chat room. You know, it was like a, a, a stick cam. It's like basically a chat room except with videos. You know? And I was there. <laughs> and this is when Paris Hilton was really in the news. You know, and she would always go, "That's hot." <laughs> so I went in there, and I just said, "That's hot." You know, I just typed it. That's hot. And that's all I that's all I put in there for the whole time I was there. Someone would say something, and I would go, "That's hot," you know. And this is the room where the guy uh, got really agitated. It wasn't that particular time, but he was really agitated. And uh, I just went, "That's hot." And the, 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 the monitors of that room, hey, if you hey, knock it off. And go, that's hot, you know. If you do that one more time, you're out of here. That's hot. I was like, boop, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I love that. That was funny. But it was like they were the cool kid tree. It was like living under the cool kid tree in that, in that place. Because it's where all the cool, cool, cool people were, you know. <laughs> oh, they thought they were just so magnificent. And I would go there and 
I would just be a regular person and watch them do their coolness. It was funny. And anyway, that one guy, oh, he got really upset with me. Because they, they decided they were going to go over to this other room, right? They were all going to get together and go to this other room and, and disrupt that room, you know. So, okay, I said, okay. You know, I, I didn't say anything, but I went with them, right? And so they got over there and started disrupting the room. And this one particular guy that got really pissed off at me, I started, Who's, whose show was it? It was somebody's show. It might have been, I don't want to mention any names, but it was a show that this person used to do every every week or something. I can't remember exactly. Maybe that was a different time. Anyway, they went over to disrupt it, you know. And so I was there, and so I said, I kept telling the monitor, why don't you get rid of these jackasses? They're coming here, look what they're doing. They're disrupting the whole thing. Why don't you dump, why don't you get rid of them? Why don't you get rid of it? They all knew my name, you know. I didn't have a different name, you know. It was, it was my name right there. Why don't you, look, they came here to disrupt your show, man. They're trying to screw it up. Why don't you just dump them all, get them all out of here, ban them all, you know. That might have been what set the guy off. Anyway, to get back to this, uh, this story, uh, he started saying a bunch of stuff to me, so I just forget. I left and I never went back, you know. But I made a video. I made a scathing video on this guy. And he knew, he knew. Everybody that was in that room knew who I was talking about. And I tore him freaking limb from limb. I pushed every button that guy had, man. <laughs> it, was in, it was in a video. And I never mentioned his name. And, I, and if you would, if you just watched, started watching the video, you, would, you probably wouldn't even know what was going on. You wouldn't know what was going on. And I kept that video up. Until I found out that he had seen it, and then I took it down, and that was it. And then we communicated later, and uh, I think he realized the error of his ways. <laughs> but I never went back to that room, ever. I'll never go back there. Ever. It was just also this one time, many, many years ago, when the internet first started. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's stupid. Uh, what was the name of it? There was a, there was a site. It's, it's long gone, you know. Uh, it was like, a, I think it was a, might have been a browser or something. They, they had a chat room there, and I went there. And my name in the, that's why, that's why I like Mike's a dick, because he's, he's, he's honest, you know. My name in that chat room was, uh, for that particular day, it was just one day I did it, it was uh, The Annoying Clown. And <laughs> I annoyed everybody to the max, you know, it was just horrible. And the guy said, you ran off all the girls, and then everybody started kind of laughing, you know. Oh, it was funny, and then I just said, <laughs> and then I, I just left, it was funny, The Annoying Clown. I used to enjoy having fun like that, but you know, I mean, it's silly. But I don't do that kind of stuff anymore at all. But what's funny is that's hot. <laughs> People, they got so annoyed. They got so, hey man, they got pissed off. Oh. <laughs> and I wasn't talking to anybody. Someone would write a comment. <laughs> it's just some stupid comment, you know. Oh, what'd you do today? Oh, I. I played uh, ping pong. That's hot. <laughs> they got so pissed off, they finally just threw me out like a freaking dog, man. But I've been thrown out of places before. I used to be an alcoholic. I never got thrown out very much, really. I didn't. Because I was, you know, I only, actually only been thrown out of one place. Come to think of it. I've only been thrown out of one place. It was a it was like in in freaking Seattle. No, what was it? It wasn't Seattle. What was it? It was some really really hip place, you know. And uh, I was there. God, this is years. This is I quit drinking in 1979, so you can imagine how long ago this was. So this was sometime in the 70s, and uh, I was in this jazz bar in. I was on. I was doing some business, and I don't know where I was. I was in. I was in Oregon, though. I know I was in Oregon. It was right on the coast, some coastal city in Oregon. 
because that's what I did. I would go up the coast and just enjoy that. I would drive up the coast from, I would go, I would take that drive and I would go from, where would I go? I would just go up the coast from like San Francisco up the coast of Oregon and then come back down and then come down through Nevada, you know, to get a different kind of a trip, you know. The ocean, <laughs> they go through Nevada, man. Wow, it was so, man, it was so beautiful. It was a totally different trip. And so I was in there and I was, I was bullshitting with the, with the bartender. She was this beautiful girl, you know, and I was sitting there drinking scotch. <laughs> scotch and water. I drank scotch because I thought that was hip, you know. <laughs> so I'm drinking scotch, you know. And they have a jazz band playing. They're playing everything. And by the time that the, the bartender took a break and came back, they throw me out. I don't even remember what I did. I got thrown out threw me out. Nah, what are you going to do? Maybe it was Washington. I can't remember. It was Oregon or Washington. That was a long, long time ago. But I quit drinking alcohol, man. That stuff is freaking nasty. That'll kill you. That will kill you. No doubt about it. I was 29 years old when I quit drinking. 29. No, was I 29 or 28? I think it was 28. I quit drinking the day after Father's Day in 1979, so I think it was 28 years old. I wasted so much of my life, you know, doing stuff like that because, you know, I, I, uh, I was an alcoholic. I remember, I remember how it happened because I was, I was doing this thing and uh, I took a break for Christmas. Everybody took a break for Christmas. So, and, and uh, New Year, so on the second day of January, I went back to work you know, and everybody else was still taking a break. I said, ah, okay, I'll take a break. And I had, I had come out of mining. And miners drink a tremendous amount. Well, not all of them, but I mean, there's a lot of drinking involved. And so when you got off, you know, you drank. So I was off. So, okay, it's a big holiday for me. So I just kept drinking, you know. And that was the beginning of my alcoholism. And that went on for about, let's see, for about four years. And that ruined everything. It ruined everything. So I quit, and then gradually it got to be the same point with pot, you know, because I've got this addictive personality, you know, and then I went into drug rehab and quit. That was in, that was in uh, 70, 78, I think, somewhere in there, I can't remember. Is that when it was? No, 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 no. That's not when it was. That was in 70, when 70, 78, 79, I quit drinking. And then, I mean, it was 80, it was like 10 years. It was 87 or 88. No, that's not true. Fuck, I can't even remember what I'm talking about. That was in, it was in 85, and then it was in 87 or 88, 87 or 88, that I quit doing drugs. And then I was straight for like two and a half years and had a relapse, and I went back into outpatient treatment. And then I quit doing drugs from, that was in 80, 89, I think it was, and then 1990, I went to Los Angeles. I stayed in LA for until 2001, and it was just recently that I got on a freaking pot bench. <laughs> Thank God I don't do that. And I was like, I smoke pot every day, all day, for like nine and a half months. Well, not every day, all day, because sometimes if someone was here, you know, I wouldn't be smoking. But if nobody was here, smoking the whole time, nine and a half months. And I prayed about it, 
quit. Thank God. And that's, I haven't smoked any pot. Uh, you know, I don't miss it, you know. Because after a while, it be, just becomes a habit. Where's my coffee? Oh, that's enough of this. I'll see you later.